Welcome to my channel. My name is Heather Anderson of So Heather. Welcome back. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I actually um, post two new videos every week. Most of them are on fashion. They're on trends. They're also on very, you know, wearable and amazing wardrobe staples. So I do videos on all kinds of things, all about fashion. Mostly I occasionally will do fitness or beauty, but anyway, would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about 13 of the most fabulous trends of 2020. Most of these trends are very wearable. I'm gonna be ending the video though with the one trend that I will definitely not be wearing this year, I don't think, so stay tuned for that one. So without further ado, ladies, let's get started. All right, trend number one are sheer fabrics. So I'm actually wearing this really beautiful sheer turtleneck, and of course I'm gonna wear a jacket over it. If you wanted to wear it by itself, you could easily put a camisole underneath it, but I chose just to wear a nude bra under it and then knowing that I wouldn't be taking off my jacket. So, you know, lots of sheer fabrics. I love wearing them underneath the jackets, of course. I think they're a great way to look sexy, but still, uh, you know, very polished, very put together and very sophisticated. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of that. I did a shoot a couple months ago in a really cool sheer leopard top, which I love. I paired it back with some a black leather jacket and some black jeans and some knee-high boots. So I will link this sheer leopard top for you ladies as well, along with this cream one, which I think is beautiful because neutrals are another trend this season. And that brings me to trend number two, which are neutrals. So this is, you know, I have on some amazing neutrals today. I'm actually going to show you guys what I'm wearing today because I've been getting a lot of comments from you ladies about show us what you're wearing when you tape the video. So I will not only be linking the outfit that I'm wearing, but I'll also be doing a little video of what I'm wearing today. Um, all of the product links that I talk about will be linked in my description box just to let you know. And if anything is on the expensive side, I will always link a steel version because I believe no matter what your budget, you should be able to shop on my channel. But we've been seeing a ton of neutrals. You know, last year it was all about you know, maybe some brighter colors, you know, throwing in some neons. So 2020, definitely throw your neon and bright colors out and replace them with more neutral shades. For me, this works really well because I already own a lot of neutral pieces. If you know my style or if you've been following my blog, SoHeather.com or my YouTube channel, you know that I wear a lot of neutrals. I wear a lot of basics because that's what I feel most confident and comfortable in. So whatever that is for you, whatever you feel most confident and comfortable in, wear that. So that being said, these are just the most popular trends. You certainly don't have to wear these trends. In fact, I recommend that you you know, really build your wardrobe on basic pieces and just sprinkle in a few trends. So maybe only wear a couple of your really favorite trends this season. So neutrals was, it will definitely be probably one of the most wearable trends this season and one that I will personally be wearing a ton because I love neutrals. I just did a video last week with this neutral blank NYC jacket that I love. It's a great beige color. I love the gold hardware. This would be a fantastic jacket. It's under $100, so it's a great price point. So this would be a great neutral piece to add to your wardrobe that would be very on trend, but also very basic and timeless at the same time. Okay, trend number two, or actually trend number three is leather. So this is, you know, has been a, a trend in 2019, but it will certainly be an ongoing trend in 2020. And if I'm being honest, it's one of my favorite trends. And I also think it's a very wearable trend. You can wear a leather jacket like the, this one I have on right now. It's Veronica Beard. It is on sale. I hope it's not sold out. If it is, I will try to find a similar leather blazer for you ladies to link. But you know, leather jackets, leather pants, and it doesn't have to be real leather, ladies. It can be faux leather, which is much more cost effective. So just know that there are tons of faux leather jackets on the market that are amazing and fabulous. Blank NYC is my favorite leather jacket designer for affordable jackets. Um, I post a ton about their jackets. The one I just mentioned, the neutral blank NYC faux leather jacket would also be another piece. You could incorporate the leather trend by wearing this jacket as well. This would be a great jacket to wear, you know, all year round because it is a great neutral color that's going to go with so much. But another leather look that I love that's very on trend for 2020 um, is this blank NYC faux leather jumpsuit. 
You guys, this is a killer jumpsuit. It would be amazing to wear on a date night, like Valentine's Day is coming up, so keep that in mind. Or if you're single, you could really look amazing wearing this to a girl's night out. But this faux leather jumpsuit looks way more expensive than it really is. I think it's under $150. There's some high-end designers that have made you know, similar jumpsuits for like $1,000 that are real leather. So this looks really luxe, but it's not that expensive. So to incorporate the leather trend in 2020, this would be an amazing way to do that, adding this really cool leather jumpsuit, faux leather jumpsuit to your wardrobe. So love leather, it's a trend in 2020. It's probably one of my favorites and it's also very wearable. So love this one. All right, trend number four, combat boots. So they were definitely in in 2019. That's really where they made most of their headway. And in 2020, they're gonna certainly still be in style and they're definitely trending really hard right now. They've been seen on tons of celebrities and mega influencers. I love the ones that I'm wearing because they actually have a heel on them. So combat boots are very masculine. So when I wear combat boots, I love to mix them with more feminine things. Um, like skinny jeans for one, maybe like a shiny jacket like I did in these photos. I paired them back with this beautiful navy blue shiner, uh, shiny puffer jacket, which would be a great addition to your winter jacket collection. It keeps you warm, but it still allows you to look very stylish. But that's why I, I love wearing combat boots with heels because it makes them look a little bit more feminine. These are actually by Giovanni Rossi and they're sold out, but I will link some that look very similar that are a fraction of the price. They're actually on sale for I think around $100. So those would be fabulous. You'd get a lot of wear, of the, wear out of them because they're actually comfortable. Even though they have a heel on them, because of the platform, the combat boots are actually very comfortable, very wearable. So love this edgy trend for sure. All right, trend number five is the color blue. So blue has been announced the Pantone color of the year. I love wearing blue. I always get a lot of compliments when I wear blue. In fact, I should wear more blue. Maybe that should be one of my New Year's resolutions is to wear more blue. Um, it's a beautiful color. It can look gorgeous on all skin tones. One thing in particular that I have worn like an all blue look is when I did a double denim look recently when I was in LA with my friend Kathy, who's also an influencer, The Middle Page. Check her blog out if you haven't already. It's amazing. Um, but you know, denim is a great way to wear the color blue, but while still being casual and comfortable, and it's also very wearable. So this denim jacket that I'm wearing is from Baldwin, which is an amazing store that carries a lot of wardrobe basics, very high quality, but the price point isn't like crazy expensive. This denim jacket is actually super cool, super edgy, and it's on sale right now. I think it's like 40 or 50% off, so I'll be sure and link it for you ladies below. So just remember, the color blue is gonna be hot 2020. I'm gonna be doing tons of posts and videos wearing blue, so stay tuned for that, ladies. All right, trend number six, what I just spoke about, denim on denim, the Canadian tuxedo. I'm a huge lover of denim on denim. If you know um, me or if you've been following my blog or my YouTube channel for a while, you know that I am literally denim obsessed. I wear jeans all the time. I've been called the denim whisperer and the jean queen many times by my peers and friends because I just live in jeans. I have since I was a little girl. Most little girls want to wear like dresses and florals and flowers. Like I wanted to wear jeans, literally even from the time I was like three. <laughs> so jeans are near and dear to my heart. I'm happy that double denim is a trend in 2020 because I will definitely be wearing it a ton. I'll be wearing the Baldwin denim jacket with these Citizens of Humanity jeans. And then I love it dressed up with the boots like I did in these photos, but on the weekends, maybe swap it out with a white tee and some Golden Goose sneakers for like a very casual, easy denim on denim look to wear. So um, this, you know, this trend is really hot, ladies, so be looking for that in 2020. Again, adding a jean jacket in a similar color pair of jeans, pair of jeans will allow you to just recreate this look in an easy and simple way. In fact, you probably already have a denim jacket hanging in your closet, and then you could pick a, a pair of jeans that's similar to that, that denim jacket in, in the color scheme, or you could go with like a darker denim. So to make that contrast, either one. I love wearing denim on denim both ways. All right, number seven are mini dresses. So we're definitely seeing the hemline go up above the knee. 
You know, I talk a lot about how I love midi dresses. That's where the hemline actually hits you below the knee because that's the most flattering for all ages. But in order to make the mini dress age appropriate, you can wear it with some boots, either some knee high boots as I did in these photos, or you could do over the knee boots. And the photos, that, the boots that I'm wearing in these photos with this gorgeous midi dress are actually by Tamara Mellon. And they can be worn over the knee or under the knee. So that's what I love about these boots because they're very versatile since they can be worn both ways. Also, the heel height is 90 millimeters, so they're actually very wearable. But I love this mini, this mini dress because it's it's got the blue in it, so it's got that Pantone color of the year in it. It's mixed with black. It's shiny, so it's very, you know, much of a statement maker. It's gorgeous. It's comfortable. I loved it with just topped with a jacket over it, but you could certainly wear it by itself too. You know, I would wear this on Valentine's night, on a date night, um, you could also wear it on a girl's night out. You could also wear it to like an event, an evening event or something a little fancy because it does have that metallic, you know, threading through it. So gorgeous dress, but definitely be on the lookout for mini dresses and mini skirts as a trend in 2020. And don't forget a way to make it look more age appropriate is to wear it with boots. But listen, if, you, if your legs are like one of your your assets, one of your favorite features of your body and you just absolutely love your legs, then by all means, rock a mini dress with like some killer heels or booties. I'm all about that too. So whatever you're confident in, that's what you should wear. So ladies, if you love your legs, wear the mini dress with heels and, boot, and, and ankle boots. All right, trend number eight are belted jackets. So I love belted jackets because they actually accentuate your waist and they're very flattering. I have a Veronica Beard silver belted jacket that I got recently that I'll link for you ladies below. It's beautiful. I love the silver metallic shade. I think I'll wear it with white denim come spring and summer, but this jacket is gorgeous. I love that you can tie it around the waist. Again, um, I'll link a similar version because this one is a little bit pricey. I also love this white denim belted jacket that I just ordered from Nordstrom. I'm gonna be shooting in this lady, so stay tuned for that complete look. But in the meantime, you can see this jacket. I love that it does tie around the waist. It's a little bit longer. I'm gonna unbutton the top and maybe wear some fun chain necklaces and roll up the sleeves to make it look a little bit more edgy and fashion forward. But this is a great jacket, this white denim belted jacket. It's also a very great price point. So I will link that one down below as well. But be on the lookout for a lot of belted jackets in 2020. Definitely a big trend and one of my favorites. All right, number nine are oversized blazers. So. Blazers have been in style forever. They will never go out of style, ladies, trust me. But what's really trending right now is the oversized blazer. So one of my favorite oversized blazers that actually sold out last year, but has been restocked in all sizes. It comes in black and it comes in camel. I have the camel version here, as you can see from these photos, but this is also by Blank NYC. It actually incorporates two trends because it's an oversized blazer and it is leather, or it's faux leather. So the price point's awesome. Um, it is oversized, so I recommend pairing it with something more fitted underneath so that the oversized blazer doesn't end up overtaking you. So as I did here, I paired it back with just a simple fitted tank top and some straight leg jeans. But highly recommend this blazer. It comes in black too. I did order the black recently. I'll be doing a post with the black one soon, so stay tuned for that. But um, oversized blazer is definitely an amazing trend in 2020. It's very wearable. It's timeless. They're versatile. So highly recommend adding at least one oversized blazer to your wardrobe. This, this year, you definitely won't regret it, and I bet you'll find yourself wearing it a ton. All right, number 10, tank tops versus tees. So these really gorgeous cutout tanks are trending really hard right now. They've been seen on one of my favorite celebrities, Rosie Huntington Whitley. I look to her for some serious fashion inspiration, but you know, we're seeing this transition. Now that doesn't mean that you don't need to wear your simple white and black tees anymore, because I know I'll still be wearing mine a ton by themselves and under jackets in the spring and summer, but it's really, the trend is going more towards tank tops and not just plain tank tops, but the ones that are cut out at the top of the shoulder here. They're actually very flattering because shoulders, ladies, no matter what your size, are typically very gore, you know, very beautiful on any size woman. So that is why I love wearing, you know, cut in 
right here at the shoulders, these really cool tank tops. So one of my favorite ones is this black one by Free People. I've had this for about six months now. It's like $20. Literally, I love wearing it by itself during the summer when it's really hot, just with some jeans, as you can see here. But you can see how flattering it is because it does cut in and it really accentuates your shoulders. Um, I also love the redone tank. So the redone tank, I have this one in black and white. I love it because again, it cuts in on the shoulders. It's very flattering. If you're not comfortable wearing something without the jacket over it, then wear the tank and just throw on a jacket over it. That's gonna give you a little bit more coverage, ladies. So just take your pick on that. But you know, this is just an effortless, easy look to wear. You can throw on these tank tops with jeans wear them alone or throw a jacket over them if that's more comfortable for you. Create a very effortless, a very on trend, but also a very versatile and gorgeous look. So highly recommend adding a few of these tanks to your, to your wardrobe in 2020. I definitely think you'll get your wear out of them. All right, number 11 is the chain necklace. So in 2019, we were seeing a lot of layered necklaces. Listen, I'm still gonna be wearing my dainty layered necklaces, don't worry. However, what's really trending right now is just wearing one like chain necklace. So this one is by Jennifer Zuner. I got it on Shopbop, I'll link it for you ladies. It's a pretty reasonable price because it is gold plated and it's it's gorgeous. I love wearing it alone, but I still, like I said, I still wear, will be layering it with other dainty necklaces, but if you really wanna be on trend, you will just wear the one chain necklace alone. Um, I will also link another similar gold chain necklace from Nordstrom that's under $100 for you ladies. But again, throw this necklace on with any of the sheer tops that are trending or the simple white or black tank and it's just a very effortless and easy way to look polished and put together. All right, number 12, this is a denim trend. This is what's really trending, trending right now in the denim world, high-waisted denim. Okay, yes, that's been a trend for a while now, a long time. In fact, all of my denim now is high-waisted. I literally can't even imagine putting on a pair of low-waisted jeans. I think I would just feel really awkward. But high-waisted denim, denim, the reason I love it is because Again, they're high-waisted, so they're gonna make your legs look longer and slimmer, and who doesn't want that? But the, the, the trend is really towards clean denim with less distressing, also with longer hemlines. So in 2019, we were seeing a lot of the cropped, not really cropped, but like right at the ankle bone, which I've talked about being the most flattering length for denim. But making that denim length a little bit longer, like below your ankle bone, but still you know, short enough to where you can see your heels, like the ones I'm wearing today. These are the Riley's by A. Goldie. I did a denim video last week of the best denim of 2019, so you can check that out if you'd like for more denim inspiration. But these Riley A. Gold E jeans were on that list. They're a straight leg, they're not a skinny leg. They're high-waisted, they're clean, there's no rips. They have a little bit of a longer hem. Now, I'm five foot four, so if you're taller, they're gonna be a little bit shorter on you. Um, but that's okay, they're, they're still gonna look amazing. So, now listen, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna wear ripped jeans in 2020. That doesn't mean that ripped jeans are out of style in 2020. All I'm saying is this style of denim is what is really on trend and really hot right now. So that is it. Okay, now the, the uh, trend number 13, the one that I don't see myself wearing in 2020 is Bermuda shorts. So Bermuda shorts have sort of taken over the uh, biker short trend, which I never wore biker shorts. That was one of the trends that I absolutely hated in 2019. Not saying that some celebrities and influ mega influencers didn't look amazing when they wore biker shorts, but that was just something that I didn't feel confident or comfortable in, so I didn't wear it. So again, I'm gonna reiterate that, ladies. These trends are just ideas. They're just what's trending right now. I do not recommend that you go and buy something from each trend. No, no, pick one or two or maybe three favorite trends of this list and, do, and incorporate that into your wardrobe. It, in order to have a functional wardrobe, it should be made up of mostly basics, mostly timeless basics, and then you just sprinkle in a few of these trend pieces. So the reason I will not wear Bermuda shorts and I just don't like them is because, I don't know, they like show your knees. Um, I don't think knees are very flattering, especially when you get older, I'm 46, and my knees aren't the prettiest thing on my body, so, I just don't love Bermuda shorts. I don't know. I just, 
Maybe I'll be wearing them in six months. If I do, like I'll do a video on why I decided to start wearing Bermuda shorts, but they're just not my favorite trend, but they are a trend and they are being seen all over Pinterest, all over IG, on mega influencers and on, you know, celebrities. So, hey, if you love Bermuda shorts, by all means, wear that trend. If you feel confident wearing Bermuda shorts, do it. But that is just not a trend I feel confident or comfortable wearing. So I think I will pass on that one. So I would love for you to leave me comments below on what your favorite trend of 2020 is, which one you're most excited about wearing, and maybe which one you would like never ever be caught dead in. So um, again, thank you ladies for stopping by today for more style information. You can head over to my blog, SoHeather.com, and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. So um, I really appreciate each and every one of you. You ladies are amazing. Have a beautiful day, and until next time, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.